Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I want uh, my sons and I want to speak to Marilyn. Yeah. <laughs> and um, for all of those that thought that it's a mental illness or a mental defect, mm -hmm. to not realize that it's against the law to not provide uh, evidence or witnesses. Yes. You're wrong. Now, I want them today, and I no longer want to be the target of your terrorism. <laughs> now, um, as much as you dislike the thought of having to enforce the laws, yes, mm -hmm. you actually do. Oh. Give me my sons. And make sure that they call me and they tell me what hotel we're going to stay in. And then you have Marilyn Van Proyen call me, and I want to know where she wants to reside. Because I want Mike, do you understand, in prison. Now, this is something very important. Doctors are no longer waiting decades to give patients new hips and knees. Yes. Surgeons replaced more than 650,000 knees and 300,000 hips in 2010. American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Yes. I redesigned the hip and the knee mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I heard that they're only good for 10 to 15 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you get me all of the hip and knee replacements that use a metal mm -hmm, that you could wrap just like you can wrap an implant? Yes, mm -hmm. where you thought you would fuck up the brains of those that have implants. Now, I want to make knees out of uh, recycled garbage. Yes, high temperature recycled garbage that if you have to have knee or hip replacement, you never have to have it done again. Oh, now there's some money in this. Yes, mm -hmm. so get me every orthopedic surgeon everywhere in the nation. The oh, wow. And all manufacturers of any and all knee and hip replacements and all the metals that are used for anything that you replace in the human body <laughs> that could go for uh, plates in the brains of those that have. Ooh. Now, when I understand exactly how this works, I had known a veteran that had uh, had to have a plate put in the back of his brain. Yes. Had a fall. Yes. And it seemed that when you use electricity in the bodies of those that have metal in their bodies, yes, it can have a considerable amount of damage mm -hmm. versus those that don't have metal in their bodies, pooch, because it conducts electricity. Mm. Mm. Now, I've been electrocuted, yes, multiple times. Pow. So give me all the known metals mm -hmm, that could be used for knee or hip replacement. Yes. <coughs> and every piece of metal mm, from screws, yes, plates, yes, <laughs> and anything else metal. Mm -hmm, where for some reason when you decided you were going to amp the population because you're lizard dick, yes, you caused a great amount of damage to the bodies of those that have metal in their bodies. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> now, when you go through, okay, my knee surgery, the essential guide to total knee recovery. Yes, he does, yes, he does. I want all the HMOs, po the MOs, the PMOs, the CMOs, and any other managed organization. <laughs> and then I want to know exactly how you sewed into the metal. <laughs> Now, I had thought that somebody was an Air Force veteran, mm -hmm. and I said, well, I'm going to wrap that metal plate in a special type of Air Force broadband <laughs> so that it's no longer pain. Oh, <laughs> it could be one of those $100 billion days. Yes, it could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, not only am I going to redesign these uh -huh, various types mm -hmm, of uh, metal implants, yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to find that every location where you decide. And then I'm going to use some of my high temperature garbage. Right. Now, the density and the weight of high temperature garbage. Yes. Could be used to replace any and all metal substances that are used in any medical procedures. I tell you right now, it's going to be a hundred billion dollar day. Now, let's go to work on this. Okay. Now.
I know, okay, that this type of density in the heat of garbage, that you, yes, mm -hmm. it won't wear out. Pooch. You can get one hip replacement or both hips if necessary. Yes. And you'll never have to have them replaced ever again. Ooh. Oh. oh. So let's go through all the orthopedic surgeons. Yes. Mm -hmm. And all of Now I'm wanting to do some innovating. Yes. I want to make some money. Okay. <laughs> and when I... Um... Could you, could you, as I said, when you decide to use your electric grid to amp the bodies, yeah, those that have metal in their bodies have experienced a lot more damage to their bodies than those that didn't have any metal in their bodies. Give me that. 